Hi, this is Ryan Phillips for DP Review. Today we're going to be talking about mechanical stabilization both in lens and in sensor. We're here in Los Angeles at the Fig House. It's a great new event space. It's also the home of Room 40 Catering. We're gonna go into the kitchen and to some really low light and test out these cameras and see how well the image stabilization works in both the camera and in the lens. Mechanical image stabilization comes in two varieties, either by moving a lens element or moving the camera's sensor to compensate for the movement of the photographer as the shutter button is pressed. All right, so now we're in the kitchen, sort of. Somebody had the uh, great idea to put me in a freezer, let me freeze, and then really see how well image stabilization works. So uh, we're gonna test this out, shoot some stuff in here, and, uh, and then I'm gonna try and get out of here as, as quickly as possible. <laughs> Image stabilization will not help you freeze a moving subject. That will require enough light to use a fast shutter speed. It will, however, let you shoot at slower speeds than you might normally get away with, often letting you leave the tripod at home. It's especially helpful when shooting with longer range telephoto lenses, which are the hardest to hand hold. In-camera sensor shift stabilization has the advantage of offsetting handshake in every lens that is mounted to the camera. You can get the benefits of stabilization even when using older lenses or lightweight prime lenses that would become much bulkier and more complex with the addition of in-lens stabilization. And DSLR's lens-based IS has the advantage of stabilizing the view through the viewfinder as well as reducing blur in the final image. But if you intend to buy several lenses, it can end up being more expensive as stabilized lenses typically cost more than their non-stabilized equivalents. In theory though, stabilization which is specific to a particular lens has the potential to be more effective than in-body stabilization systems. So we just wrapped up another great day of shooting here at the Fig House. We showed you two different cameras, one with in-lens stabilization and one with in-camera stabilization, and talked to you about the differences. Mechanical image stabilization, whether in-camera or in-lens, generally has the same effect on the final image. You can have the freedom to leave the tripod at home for everyday photography because stabilization will allow you to take a picture at shutter speeds two to three stops lower than you could handhold unassisted. What's important to remember here is that it prevents blur from camera shake, not blur from your subject's movements.